Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an amazing comedian who kept viewers cracking up as Cole on the iconic 90s sitcom, Martin. And he's still bringing the laughs in a comedy club near you. Please give a big Sister Circle welcome to Carl Payne. Where am I? This one? <laughs> right here? Okay, let's do it. You What's really like it today? Good to see you again. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. They should have never gave you money. <laughs> okay, let's go. Cool. What's up, baby? Uh, What's uh, up? I'm good. Yes. I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been traveling. I'm tired. You've been, tired. You've been working all your life. Yes. Sitcoms, movies. I mean, my God. Did you ever know that you were going to be an actor? Uh, no. No? No, I had no idea. No? No, 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 I had no idea. No, it was, I had a, there was a, there was a girl that I had a crush on mm. in school, and I used to follow her around like a, like a lost puppy, and she was into <laughs> acting, and she would go to auditions and things like that, and we'd be like, you should try out. I was like, what I gotta do? <laughs> and I would just do it, and then ended up getting the job. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Yeah, that's well, like how well, I got into it. Th did you thank her? Because you should have thanked her. Because mm -hmm. she oh, led yeah. it to your destiny. I did. I bet I you did. you did. Thank you. Yes, I did. Oh, you, you <laughs> thank, oh Lord. I, did. I don't even want to know how you <laughs> no, thanked her. No, listen, I was, I I was eight at the time. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. What is wrong okay. with you? What is wrong with your mind? No. No. What, what kind of show is this? This is a family show. This is a family show. This is a sister half circle. What is going on? This is not even a... There's only two of y'all. This ain't a circle. This is a square. No, we have a lot of sisters over there. Family show. And speaking of family Show. Yes, I like you your hair. I like your hair. It's cute. <laughs> like you too. Yeah, Thank you. Good. your edges, your edges are good, girl. <laughs> Look at y'all. Y'all are in here snatched today. Okay, Thank come on. Thank you. Right. What are we doing? Okay, you were cockroach <laughs> in yes. the Cosby Show. Yes. Tell us about that experience. Um, oh my God. It was fun. It was great. I mean, look. I grew up in Harlem, okay. Mm -hmm. So imagine growing up in Harlem in the projects mm -hmm. in the eighties and. The show is the number one show in the world. Mm. I was a hood superstar. You understand Ooh, what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. It was, it was, um, and it was a great time. Like I don't care what nobody say. The '80s was like one of the best times on the planet. I agree. Mm. Yeah. The '80s. Well, let's talk a little bit about the '90s. We had a lot of great sitcoms, African American sitcoms. Yeah. We had Martin. We had A Different World. We had even The Cosby's was still the rolling. The '90s was I mean, dope it, too. It was yeah. popping, right? Yeah, we yeah. had it's a um, Living Single, which I loved. Oh, yes. Living. Yes. Single. <laughs> Come on, shoulder. Uh, <laughs> listen, what do you think the difference is um, when we're speaking of those shows in the in today's shows? You know, today we have Blackish, we have uh, other shows like that. What do you think? But there's the no sitcoms. Mm. Right. There are no black sitcoms. There's, mm. a, there's a total, you know, we were flooding the airwaves back then, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it lived in color the whole. So, yeah, there's different shows now and different subject matters, mm -hmm. but not any in that time slot. Not any in that, you know what I mean? Right, in that capacity. Yeah, Why yeah. do you think that is? Do you, do you attribute social media? Why do you think that is? Um, I feel like, mm, that's a good question. I think, I think because the, the times are changing, yes, right? So yes. social media, like everything is moving more digital now with Netflix and Hulu. So I believe that those, uh, um, Avenues mm -hmm. are going to have more of those shows on there. Yeah, like you said. So, yeah. so you know yeah. the the blackishes and the and the um, the love love is. I like that mm -hmm. one. That's a good mm -hmm. one. Yes. And they got some. You know. So I think we're moving. It's things come full yeah. circle. Yeah. Things come full circle. But they're just going to be on a different platform now. Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Well, when you talk about full circle, people yeah. keep talking about a recreation of Martin. Mm. And do you think that that will ever come to fruition? Why or why not? I think that. Uh, I mean. I hope so. If it does, yeah. that's a good thing. Look, yeah. we, we all talked about it, right? Mm -hmm. We came together and said, yo, this would be dope. We should do this. But how are we going to do it? Mm -hmm. So let's make sure that we do it right and, and don't mess up the legacy. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, right. give, and give people closure, too. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. What does that well, look I, like? Um, again, Sorry. we. No, we, no. no it, it, an it's, a, question. it's a good question. Good question. Again, we've been so busy. All of us have been busy. But we're still coming to the table to make sure that we do it right. And I think what that looks like is just being real and honest and truthful. Because people were like, well, Tommy's gone, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and it's not going to be the same. Absolutely, it's not going to be the same. Right, right. And he's irreplaceable. We can't replace him. So the only way to do it 
would be to keep it 100. Right, right. You I, know what I'm saying? And, and, and so the show would probably include that. I think about some of the catchphrases that, uh, you know, Martin, you all used to have on Martin. Why do you think they're still relevant to this day? Oh, because we trendsetters, baby. That's why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. We, you know what I'm saying? We, we set trends. Um, I think, you, you know, it's funny. A lot of people who use words today don't know where they actually came from. That's true. You That's know what I'm true. saying? Like, you go girl and you go boy. People, a lot of people were using that and didn't even know that we started that. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, listen, when we return, we have more conversation with Carl Payne. We do not want you to miss it. We'll be right back. Get out my face. Get out my face. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Welcome Just... back to the Sister Circle Live. Oh, we are here it. with the hilarious <laughs> Carl Payne. Yes. Again, we don't know if we want to keep him because he's keeping us laughing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Get yes. fat. So yes, we're all black. Is. All right, Hold Carl. On. Just wait. Now, you're a father <laughs> and you're a grandfather now. I am. Yes, yes. And your son yes. was getting to acting. Yeah, don't say grandfather, though. I'm, I'm pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, pop, yeah, I'm pop, pop, pop. Or, you know, different words in other languages, but don't, you don't get to call me grandfather, yeah. Okay, well, do you give your son, <laughs> do you yeah. give your son a lot of advice for acting? Um, for acting up, yeah. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm I basically, I tell him, you got to, you know, learn the business of this whole mm -hmm. thing. At the end of the day, you know, I worked for mine. Yeah. You, I'm not going to hand it to you either. You know, yeah. so you got to work for yours. That's fair. So. That's well, fair. if you directed him in a movie, are you harder on him than you are everyone else? No. Or do you? I just treated everybody the same, but I expected more okay. mm. from him, you know? And he, I, you know, there were times where he thought he could just get away with stuff because it was me. Yeah, right, right. Daddy. You know, and yeah, it, it, and it be, you know, it was one of those things. But it was a great bonding moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I felt great about it. Like, hey, Will Smith can do it. I can do it. Absolutely. 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 Ice Cube, too. Right. How about right. Exactly, that? Exactly. How about that? Well, you're working on BET's One Crazy Christmas oh right God. now. Yeah. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the movie. It's, okay, um, it's, it's a lot of fun, first of all. It's the first, it's... A lot of the characters that I'm playing now are different from what people are used to seeing me do. So, mm. actually, I'm the chill one in the movie. I'm the I'm the one that's like the straight man. Um, it's about a woman who's going through a divorce, who has a crazy weekend with a younger guy. Oh my! Good for her. And uh, yeah, yeah, it is not good for her. That She's is... building his self-esteem for what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be nice for what? So, um, <laughs> long story short, um, you know. Uh, he wants to keep this thing going, and she's like, you know what, I had a good time, let's leave it alone. So she never returns his phone calls. Mm. Uh, six months later, her daughter's coming home from school with, with, him. Oh. with her new boyfriend. Oh. No! Oh See, I knew it was gonna be some, some a mess in the game. That's I nasty. knew it they, was. So they did oh. the booty with the same person? Pretty much. I don't much. know, I'm just making stuff up. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I, really, I didn't read the script, so I have no idea what this movie's about. Um, <laughs> Well, speaking of script, just, you're doing another movie. You're doing Step Up. You're just yeah, doing the movie thing yeah, with yeah. Neo. What can we expect from that this one? This Step Up is a second season on YouTube Red. Uh, EP, executive producer Channing Tatum, uh, Neo, Face on Love. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's kind of like fame on steroids. Mm. Um, you know, and it takes place here in Atlanta. Uh, so that's the second season. And then um, a new show called Last Call. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Well, you, you're it. very busy. Just in, busy. In my words, I in my words. I'll tell be. you, there's one other young lady that you know, Tiffany Haddish, who's mm. also very busy. She is. Mm -hmm. and, you know, while we're seeing her, you know, up and coming in Hollywood, we know that there Shut are... Shut up, we're taping! Look <laughs> <laughs> <can> hear stuff. <laughs> We know that there's not a lot of female uh, comedians who are able to rise to the top like that. Why do you think that is? Um... I just think it's timing, yeah. you know, and I think that I think I honestly think the whole Me Too movement has a lot to do with it. Um, but it, it, that has it helped to propel. Yeah, but it shouldn't have, you know, yeah. because I mean, she's very talented in mm -hmm. her own right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and, and sometimes it takes things for to happen for people to be seen yeah. when they should have already been seen. Already mm -hmm. been seen. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And do you think that social media helps propel this new era in comedians or even mm. actors coming up? Well, you know. And how do you feel about that? No, seriously, how do you feel about the social media comedians, the people who do the skits, the people who talk and say something funny? Do you feel that they have a, feel, a proper position I feel within the like industry? This. I feel like this. Social media in itself is, is a necessary evil. It's good and it's bad, but at mm. the end of the day, um, just because you can be funny for 60 seconds don't mean you can hold your own for 45 to an hour. 
Mm -hmm. So, so like, you feel like they hadn't paid their dues? Like people who've been in stand up and going from, you know, comedy club to comedy club, you right. know, Absolutely. taking drinks for pay, you know? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> not everybody, oh, I'm just saying Tell us it, how it, the Braxton's really tough. made it. Oh, yeah, I got tell us, taking drinks for pay, being locked in closets. I, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? See, that's not how we grew up. That is not, that is not how we do things. <laughs> My God, well, this So your uncle never had you and said, don't tell nobody? No, what are you talking what? about? What Paul. are you talking about? Paul! What are you, this just because you like to drink, don't tell everybody. That. Paul! <laughs> okay, sorry. This weekend, Atlanta yep. Comedy Theater. Yep. Tell the people, yep. what, yep. What, what are you headlining there? Yes, I am. What do you have on the ticket with you? Uh, my us. good friend uh, from Dallas, uh, celebrity, the comedian. Uh-huh. <laughs> Funny as heck. <laughs> um, and uh, a couple other local joints, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how I feel that night. Uh. Carl, <laughs> hey, Carl, you always talked about you. You love giving back and giving and giving other people an opportunity. Yes, I do. I do. And that, and and see, so unlike other comedians, when sometimes you know young guys want to come up and and go on for like five minutes or yeah. whatever, you know. And I'm like, why not? Give them a shot. If they're funny. Yeah. If they're not, I'm gonna let you know. But will you work with them and, and kind of, have you ever seen someone say, you know, this person has potential, this person has talent, I want to work with them. All have the you time. ever helped to develop some comedians? All the time. I, 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 mean, I mean, listen, whether it's, whether it's comedian, where you want to be a filmmaker, an actor, whatever it is, I have no problem with, with giving you the tools or helping you start off, even with information, because information yeah. is key. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I feel like, why have we been put in this position? Mm -hmm. Why has God placed us, yeah. if yeah. not to... Reach pull, back. Yeah, reach back and pull up. For that next one. You said yes. throw them out there. Yes. Yeah, you Voila. know what I'm saying? Well, thank you so much, Carl. We truly do appreciate you thank for coming you. down thank to you. the circle uh, to see Carl in action this weekend. Be sure to purchase tickets at AtlantaComedyTheater.com. Also, be sure to go to Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. <laughs> and up next, Bill Bellamy is going to be joining, joining Carl for the Clash of the Comedians. Boy, this looks like a sitcom, don't it? <laughs>